Hello everybody, my name is Kim. Welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. So for today's topic, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between in-person bootcamp, uh, bootcamp, like online bootcamp, uh, online courses, and the university degree in computer science. So from there, I did a little bit of analysis, the good and the bad, between three options so you kind of have a better understanding in which kind of course that you should choose in order to become a software engineer. So the first thing like in person bootcamp, I think the price tag is really heavy for that kind of learning. In the nutshell, it can cost you around 10,000 to 15,000 um, for a three month full time courses um, or six months for part time. And the good sign about that is it's going to help you to move really quickly and you can register for the course and start a week from when you make a decision. Um, another good thing about that kind of learning is that there's going to be an instructor and so many uh, students in the class so we can make a lot of friends obviously and the instructor will able to help you to um, keep track on what you're doing you can ask a question right away if you stuck if some question or some material that you don't understand they can give you like an instance feedback of what you know and what you don't and you can to assess your skill and start learning from there and another good sign about that kind of bootcamp is that if you cannot commit yourself to a time, the schedule time, let's say you're really bad in uh, time commitment, then it would be really helpful to take the course because they have the material right in front of you and you just need to follow the course. And hopefully you can get a job after, but it's not a story. Um, it is easy to say than done. And I will uh, talk the good thing about that piece but also there's a downside of like in-person bootcamp in the sense that um, because that is really intense it's like eight hours a day which is good but also it's really unhealthy is that it kind of teach you a lot material that you need for web development right away but if you don't um, but if you can keep track with the course if you meet a class where if you sick one day you really hard to f take a step back and kind of self-assess and continue the course with really easy that you can fall off the road. And another downside about that, in my opinion, is that it's really expensive because usually with that amount of money, you can uh, take 10 courses in university for a year of tuition. So basically, this is only um, in-person training but also the university cost with the same money you can have enough credit that you can save up for the future if you ever decide to study master or uh, undergrad. And another downside about that kind of bootcamp is that I think it didn't teach you enough fundamental skill and it sound like do learn really quick to get a job then allow yourself to be familiar with the code base and why you're learning computer science those kind of things that is the downside so we move to the second options that you can do is like taking youtube class and a lot of online classes that you take for a cheaper price like udemy coursera or even it is free um i think the good part about that is the money you spend on if you want to try is not that much like you can pay like give yourself like 1000 and below you can take any courses that you want and it's really um doesn't take a lot of your time if you have other things that you need to commit it like for example if you have families that you need to take care of and you have a career in the morning then you can definitely like study at night be a night old and try to navigate a career from there, a lot of uh, tweak and twist from there. Um, I think the benefit of that as opposed to bootcamp is that it gives you a lot of discipline and time to understand the material as long as you need it and understand and fully point if you forgot then you can stop 
pause and then you can rewatch it later whereas in the in-person training they might teach you but because the curriculum has to go really quickly so you might not a you might don't even understand section A and then you move on to section B so that is like an also benefit but the downside of this kind of learning is that if you get easily get distracted as i can tell personally i got distracted if i'm on my screen i'm studying and there's someone on youtube channel talk about things then i go to youtube and watch the video and i pause my course or someone some friends message me on on facebook and i stop i go to social media and scroll and keep scrolling and i don't focus don't have a lot focus span then you go into um an in-person boot camp but the downside of those online courses is that it's really hard for you if you are all completely newbie because like they teach you enough material but when if you stop or your code doesn't work no one there actually help you to figure out what went wrong you have to self-discover it and or maybe you easily give it up because it's really hard to understand and no one to push you what you need to do or uh, one time that i take those online course um the course is developed in 2019 but i took in 2021 and realized i spent like a whole day trying to figure out what went wrong it's also like a good debugging skill that you learn along the way but it's turned out that the types of technology that i'm i'm taking in the course is outdated so everything needs to be updated and the course is out of date so that is not my fault either and a lot after i see people comment why it went wrong like a middle half of the row and i realized gosh i just like spent a week there and then these courses is not apply anymore with the new technology so it's like i think it's the downside but another benefit personal because i have a job in the morning these courses actually help me to develop area that i want to improve on like for example i want to develop an app like you can say i'm trying to develop a crypto app right now and i think i don't have enough uh skill in the fundamental or like the architect of the app so i'm just taking the courses to understand a little bit more um based on my specialization whereas in person bootcamp they usually either teach you data science or web development uh, so you have to follow a curriculum or rather than make your own curriculum i would definitely say and the third kind of piece that i want to talk about is that university degree obviously uh, it the most expensive one the other two option it can vary from 15,000 a year for your tuition only up to 60,000 a year um, if you were in the well credited university like MIT or University of Waterloo um, the good thing about that is gonna help you to build all of the fundamental uh, knowledge for computer science let's say why you do need a database and what is uh, basic computer science and all of the data structure algorithm that you need for the future interview i really because i don't have a background in a university degree for computer science i think that is the benefit when you go to the university they allow you to have a lot of time trying to absorb the information at the basic level and it's kind of build up uh, your uh, knowledge based skill like javascript python but i don't think the university uh, teach a lot about react or react native if you want to dip that right away into become a, a web developer uh, some of material in university I definitely say is not keep up with the industry pace like for example they might teach you some HTML CSS but they didn't teach you react but then when you go for the interview a lot of the job ask you react questions so you kind of out of the blue like what you need to do but if you go to 
is really helpful if you want to go to big tech because they have because you already have a lot of fundamental data structure um, what it array what it linked list um, you can really confident and start solving lead code question instead of taking another separate course for those and if I had a chance definitely I would combine these three options all together which I'm trying to do um, the downside about university is that it took you a lot of time and commitment like you said it's only suitable for the people who are like 18 20 years old where they has a lot of time and don't know what to what to specialize in so it's give them some time to make friends and start to figure out different options in the university and even drop out after if they don't like computer science anymore but for people who need to have a source of income i think university is not a good way to do because it's uh, need a lot of money um also another piece of things that i really like about university courses like because you are in the state being a student you don't feel a lot of like burden like you need to get a job and need to take a course that i need to find a job right away yeah so like when you was young and why you have a lot of option to do in the university <laughs> and university life is obviously is the best way and the best time ever but um, um a years ago i when i quit my job i want to go back to university but i decide not to because at the time i got accepted to russian university i got a job offer so i decide not to go back to the university anymore um and to start my skill from there but um university course teach you a lot of fundamental things but a lot of the things that for example if you want to learn about blockchain the app how to build a, a crypto app like myself i don't think university actually prepare you for those kind of uh, industry skill set so you still have to learn by yourself anyway um, I know a lot of nerdy university computer science students they're really good it's not because the university teach them to do so but because they combine the university course and also on the free time they take online courses to upgrade whatever uh, specialization they want to go in so that is what I'm trying to accomplish as well I lack up a lot of um, being a self-taught developer, I think I lack of a lot of fundamental knowledge. So I'm trying to take a lot of YouTube course and university course on Udemy so that I can fill up the gap uh, what I need to know. Uh, what is an endpoint? What HTML that I should use? Yeah, so the, the downside about university is like because they teach you so much that you don't even know what to specialize in um, yeah I think when I was in school I have I know what I want to become and I take the course but I end up not liking that majors so I drop out I mean I didn't drop out but I I didn't follow what I learned in university and take my own path and I like mobile apps so take a react native course that is the best time for me um so to sum up there's a like a good bad in terms of like um tuition wise i think university course rank the highest but flexibility i think uh youtube course and udemy course give you a higher flexibility if you had a lot and uh, you don't have a lot of time and commitment to just learning all day um if you want instant feedback from your instructor and someone there to ask you a question right away i think uh, in-person bootcamp with a great great right method to choose and if you are a smart person i think a combination between these three is gonna be the best because uh, we live in the age of so much information and so much material that we don't know which to pick and what to do um, so I hope this video gives you some insight of what is the good and bad between um, these three options so you can make a better decision what to do and 
um, depends on your financial situation and your personality and your um, learning style as well thank you guys um, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel so uh, it I'm gonna uh, provide a lot of information notes uh, videos in the future thank you for support have a good day bye bye